Well, hello, United States. Rodney Carr, your favorite underqualified candidate for president. And today, I would just like to give you some perspective. It is the year 2024. And we became a nation in 1776. That means our nation is only 248 years old. So, if you think about it, a lot of people live to 90 nowadays. If you do 90 times 3, that is 270. That means our nation isn't even three people old. And we're the leaders of the world. We're babies still. We're toddlers. And we're leading the world. Now the bad news is, as a nation, we're acting like toddlers. We're throwing temper tantrums when we don't get our way. But we always forget that we are the sovereign. We are the power of our nation. And we keep going to our government and asking them for things instead of going to them and telling them things. See, we're doing it all backwards. We still act like we're in a monarchy where we have to go ask the king for something. But we don't. We get to tell our government what we want. And if they don't do it, we get to vote them out. But somehow, some way, we don't ever vote them out. So we are to blame as citizens for the state of our union. There was a man that a lot of people know named John F. Kennedy. He once said, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. So let me ask you this. What have you done for your country lately? If the answer is nothing, maybe you should recap and maybe you should turn it into something. That something can be a simple something, like helping out a brother in need, like volunteering somewhere, trying to make something better instead of just crying and complaining and expecting something to happen for you. We've lost accountability. So remember, think about what can you do for your country and if we start thinking that way again, we can enjoy the freedoms that we're supposed to have. But first we have to understand what freedom is too. Freedom doesn't just mean that you can do whatever you want. Freedom means you have the ability to choose your own consequences. If you choose to do good things, good things happen. And if you choose to do bad things, bad things happen. That's the reality of consequences. And that's what freedom is. You get to choose it. You're not told what you have to do. You can pick it. And remember, we're toddlers as a nation. And we're leading the world. And the world follows. So, if we don't want this world to end, we need to change how we behave. Remember, Rodney Carr in the right and spot on your ballot.